that we are creating is our gear now, which is going to be about three to four topics which happened in last week or this week. So what's up everybody? This is me, Ekbal Pri, and here, Harper Adam, we are going to talk about two things today. One, PS5. PS5. You guys did not watch Sony just unveiled their new PS5 looks. It was mainly about the games event, but at the end, they finally showed how the PS5 looks like. And honestly speaking, it's a router. It looks like a router. There's a lot of memes out there already. We don't know about the PS5 is the specs. We just know that it has the custom fast build, high speed SSD. By right? AMD, basically AMD, uh, AMD Jaguar AMD or something, something. Jaguar Gen 2, that's what we know so far. I don't think it's a Jaguar, I believe but I, it's AMD. That's we, what we know so far. Okay, we don't know the total specs, but based on what Xbox Series X is having, it'll be something close enough to that. Yeah. And what do you think about the design, man? I honestly, um, I like the design. It's quite a futuristic. However, when we compare it to PlayStation uh, 4, it's, it's different. I like I, PlayStation 4 because it was like modern, like like really rectangular like, it was, like rectangular. There. It, was, it, it was, was like there. It was it like was, you Tesla, can just easily put it. It was like Tesla version of Cybertruck. Like it doesn't have any angles. It's just all, no, it doesn't have any curves. Like all the angles. So, you know, it, 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 it's a Tesla Cybertruck. The newer one is let's say it, let's assume it's the Tesla Roadster type of thing. Yeah, so it has no. all the curves. You know that that blue accent that goes around. You know, one thing that I hate about this is that you don't get an option to put it lay flat on the surface anymore at least uh, that is why i'm like i liked my playstation because it was like flat and also i can also do it the side if vertical, i want to do vertical, yeah, vertical horizontal, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Just all the way vertical, it just like, went in my cabinet cozy but playstation 5 man it is good but only one side when it really it showed i was like damn it's v okay so i'm not sure i'll, I'll show it somewhere here in the, in the screen MKBHD tweeted about it and yo, let me show you. No, no, Instagram. So he's like, PS5 is revealed now about that mad black world. We'll put it here on the screen. We'll put and it then, the screen. And then the D brand, I was just scrolling today morning and D brand comes in and they're like, okay, so this. And they're basically like, you're welcome. It's all black. <laughs> okay, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. It looks, so, it looks sick, man. I don't mind. You can play around with it. Uh, we'll, I'll show you what my configuration is. I'll play around and show you guys here in the video as well. And that's what I want. Oh, what about the games? How do you rank the games? Okay, so basically the ranking of the games is my, for in my perception, is pretty much you know a bit different than what he is thinking. My perception is basically the first game is going to be Spider-Man. That's uh, that's my hands down my favorite and the only. Here's the thing when. They showed that there's they're going to release the first Spider-Man. It brings the nostalgia back to me because I remember playing the old Spider-Man. It was my favorite game. Had nothing to do with physics. It was a goofy one, but I loved it. <laughs> I never finished it though. But then when first Spider-Man came out for PS4, I went out there to Best Buy. It was E3 event, so they were giving like 30% discount. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pre-order it right now. I don't care about what this game brings, but I'm just gonna do it. So I did pre-order, got my game, loved it, played it right away, and this one is coming. You bet I'm going to buy a PS5 with deep brand skin on it and Spider-Man as my main game. It, I'll think about others later. It's gonna happen. One thing, they opened the event, right? I was uh, the very we, first scene. It was <laughs> Rockstar. I'm like, GDS6, I, GDS6. I, I, I GDS6. So I was sitting. I was. I was at home, on a server getting repeat. service of my car. And then uh, I had nothing else to do just to wait for the event because I, I was excited for the PS5. And they show up with Rockstar, they're telling the story. I'm like, okay, so Michael Franklin, they both are in the game. Is this GTA 6? But then at the end, they're like, no, it's enhanced and extended. Plus, we're giving a bunch of money, like million dollars. No. In, for in, me, in when I saw Michael and Franklin, I'm like, uh, GTA 6, where are you? <laughs> but hey. But then the next game. Honestly, Spider-Man. I was amazed. I didn't know it was Spider-Man because of the, all the like. I don't. I honestly don't know the history of Miles Morales, the powers he bring to the table. But the moment I saw those electric stuff going out, it was slow mo. I'm like, okay, this is the Flash. 
I I actually thought the same thing. I'm like, come on. There's a flash. It's a flash. And then then the, the camera moves slowly, and I see those webs. I'm like, okay, this is Spider Man. <laughs> this is Spider Man. But and you know, they when, already caught me at at you know flash. I'm gonna like, say, it's gonna be flash. But did you notice it's gonna be that flash? It's gonna be flash. No, Michael. No. But did you notice that the Spider-Man thing, Miles Morales had a lot of like sweat going off from his screen? Like I was I love I love the details that goes in this game. Alright, sure, go ahead. Continue so with the your next r- one r- is Gran Turismo. Okay. I don't know like, the last time I played any car racing game on the console, I think it's PlayStation 1. And we never had Xbox before. It was just PlayStation 1 was the last time that I played personally in a console. In a console. We had, like, you know, it's it's a part of our family. It's a part of us growing up in general. Like, when we were kids, I remember my uncle had PS1. Remember when he had PS1 and he was, like, playing games? And I, no, I remember my part. I had a fight with him and I told my granddad that I want PS1 from him. I'm not sure if you can remember it. I, I do remember You remember that, that right? Remember. So I had a fight with my granddad and I'm like, I don't care about... Whatever my uncle does or says, I want PS1 from him. So, and I started crying. And they somehow got, they they managed to give me the PS1 and a lot of games. They were like, this many games. But that was basically after two years. Yeah. Of him crying all the day, every day. Like, <laughs> PS5, we own PS1, PS1, PS1. We own PS2. Unfortunately, not the three. I don't know why. But I don't hey. know. We, we have PS4 right now, and definitely we're gonna get So basically PS5. this is what happened. We had two PS1s, uh, like different time, time spans, and then we had yeah. two PS2s. Yeah. Of, uh, well, those two were at the same time, but different countries, like in, one in India and one in Philippines. the Philippines. And we never had PS3. Don't know why. I don't know what happened there though. And then we had two PlayStations Four. at the same time, PlayStation 4s. One here in Canada and one in the Philippines. We, now we are going to have one PlayStation Five, and I hope the whole the controller, man. I think the controller should be a little bit heavier. A little heavier controller one, is one going to be better. Heavy. I tried Xbox One X controller. It's a little bit heavy. Controller? No, just okay. a regular one. It's a little bit heavier, and I'm, I'm like in love with it because it's not really like the heaviest, heaviest. But the grip, because of the heaviness, was awesome. All right, so my game pick. So what's the third game? The third, just right. top three. Let's just do top, top three. three. <laughs> Hitman Three. <laughs> I I never played. I never I never played the games. I never watched the 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 movies. However, the Hitman series seems to be like really powerful, and I, I'm all up for it. Okay, so for me, my first pick, hands down, Spider Man. I've already told you guys. Second one, let me just see a list I didn't write that down. Um, Why did he do their list? I don't know. Destruction All Stars just looks like the Twisted Metal, if you guys know. I'm not yeah. sure if you played that on our PC. Loved it. It's by Sony's own studio, and I don't know why they're not doing it anymore. They should definitely do Resident Evil looks pretty good. Oh man, Resident Evil? And I was amazed by NBA 2K21's demo, like all that sweat going from his body. I'm like, dude, ray tracing is doing its job. Your hard drive, and your SSD, and other components that go in the console are doing their job. I'm like, damn man. Death Loop. This game is totally different. It, it's first well, person shooting game. I had a space here. I'm pretty sure the Death Loop is like pretty down, like really low for me. For me, it, it, it it's it's pretty cool. So these are our top three pick. And yeah, they're we are we're totally excited about this console. We're for sure gonna get our hands on. And I'm definitely putting a deep red skin on it. I don't care about whatever he says. It's gonna happen. It looks like a Wi-Fi router to me, dude. I just can't unsee it anymore. But they <laughs> also they also released a bunch of accessories with it. They also have the same white and black accent. It's what do you think about the headphones though? If if Sony already if like we already know the Sony's M M 1000 X Mark series are pretty dope. They rock. And if they're able to bring the old PS4 headphones, use that gaming tech, and with their noise cancellation stuff, and they make them comfortable, dude, this is gonna be the great headphones. Well, the headphones seems very comfortable, but I'm not. They kind have of that sure. that loopy headband. Yeah. So I guess that's for the gaming, but it also like all their accessories have the same aesthetic, black and white, which is good that they match. Yeah. I personally love it. 
and the camera it's, it's still there it's an option it's not something that Microsoft I believe Microsoft is not shoving it in your faces this time around they this did around, it last yeah. time didn't work out I hope they'll learn from it and what do you think about the price there's no price yet, but I feel the ballpark would be around four, like three ninety nine ish to US? five ninety nine, like U S dollars of course, okay. right? So three ninety nine to five ninety nine, it's like pretty on the higher end on on the spectrum. Uh, but I think they don't want to make the same mistake they made in PS threes, right? PS fours I mean, they were ma making just a little bit profit, but that's what were, made like made them sell. PS four they were getting like they were. It was like ten to fifteen dollar profit every hardware they sell, but they were like technically still losing a lot of it because of the marketing and everything that went on with it, right? Yeah. But they were earning a lot more with the services that they're offering this time around. And I, I, I honestly agree that they should not make a mistake like what PS3 did, which was like two nine, one nine them for PS1, around two nine them for PS2. If I'm wrong, I'll put a chart here so you guys can see. The PS3 went all the way to five ninety nine. I'm four, like four ninety nine and five ninety nine, depending on the the storage that you're But for me, but... for me, what I would find like for me, the pricing makes difference because they showed two versions. One is with the CD and one is non CD. I and am I'm... getting without the CD. That's me. I'm getting without CD. I'm okay with all online and then just downloading it and you know keeping it like offline. But I'm okay with that. But what if? Okay, let's say they're also gonna they're also gonna do backward compatibility with some of the PS4 games that we or what we want to do with those series then. Well, I'm not buying that myself. You're the one who's buying PlayStation. Yeah, four I'm buying five. PlayStation Five. He's buying Xbox. So yes. Yeah, not buying Xbox. Xbox Five yet. No. This guy Chromebook. Chrome, Edgebook. It's Edgebook. All right. Chrome. Okay. So for me, well, what I think the price would be around. So if Sony has been has been mum about the pricing so and they're like they're trying to hold on the pricing even this microsoft is holding on the pricing because it's gonna be <laughs> who chickens out first and tells the pricing out there and then other one just other undercuts it, undercut it. <laughs> I, I even by even it. 10 or 20 dollars under one just gonna undercut it and then hey you know what here you go but but what i think it would be about 500 us dollars for the non-cd one and about 550 for the CD one option because it's 4K Blu-ray, but it's still not just the CD option. End on the spectrum, but hey, that's that's that's, that's all get. about the PS5. We're gonna we talk about the next topic is Fortnite flare guns. We have been playing a lot lately. It's it's all because of my friend that I got into P. I had my iPad Pro and then my friend was like, okay, let's play Fortnite. And it's a bad influence in the house. He's like, bro. Remember Fortnite we played that we played when it first came out? I'm like, yeah, what about it? And he's like, bro, let's play. I'm like, no. He's like, but bro, try it. Try it. So and I'm we, like, no, but bro, <laughs> I already turned it on. But bro, we both can play now. I'm like, okay, you guys, have, we can both play together. <laughs> so this is how it goes. He plays P on PS4. I play on my iPad Pro with... 120 hertz refresh rate and ps4 controller that a level up it's this red controller i love this guy but and then my cousins from philippines they play on ps4 and ipad so two ipads two ps4s it works so basically we are every like night quad team every night but i'm basically disclaimer for like few might but we have a news update for fortnite so season three is finally happening and and and, and i hope that epic doesn't extend it more because i i played it for just a month he played it for a month but other guys like real fortnite players like ninja and cypher they played it like forever like they're tired they're tired and we by playing just a month you're already tired with the map that they should offer like two map option but it's fortnite they do their way and based on the leagues it just looks like that it's a battle bus flying and then there's a beach just like a spongebob if you can think I don't know. It's, it, it might be something to do with SpongeBob. Midas is going to do its its event in three days. Three days. It was, it was uh, shown three 15. hours and yeah. Midas is doing his destruction, the Doomsday event in three days, and the water level are going up. There are a lot of leaks out there, skins, the map update, and everything. It's, it'll be all in the description. And that's that's if if they are doing SpongeBob, 
it'll be it'll be it'll be difficult to think how SpongeBob turns out to be a villain or something good. Well, the other leaks I've seen are uh, based around DC, maybe like sort of Aquaman sort of thing, right? Oh, I didn't think about that possibility at all. Well, there's a possibility about Aquaman as well, but hey, we don't know. It could be SpongeBob or Aquaman. They've partnership with Marvel a lot, so this season it was Deadpool taking over the Yash. He yeah, sent Meow School yeah. out, and Meow School has been crying ever since. And whenever you go and hunt, hunt Meow School down and get his his gun, uh, his or her, I don't know. Meow School is weak. Um, Deadpool's gun isn't the best one, but it's good to have. So I bought Battle Pass for the first time ever just to try out what did you actually get. Like why? Even? Just skins, some dance, nothing much. But I, for to me, I guess it was worth it to get Deadpool. But if you think it this way, if you think it this way, I spent $15 after taxes. Those guys tax you too. I spent $15 after taxes, Canadian. But now I have, I bought that Battle Pass. Then I have 1550 V-Bucks, I can buy the next Battle Pass and who knows how much I can earn from the next Battle Pass that I'll be able to buy the next Battle Pass. So one time, I, if I spend $15 once, I guess I can get minimum of two Battle Pass for free. Sorry, one Battle Pass for free. Mm -hmm. Second one is possibility, depends on next three days. We have no idea, but hey, sorry. like the video, comment down below, let us know how we did in this video to, and how we can improve it for the future. Also share the video so that your friends can know what's new in the tech world and the gaming as well. So we're not just focusing tech, we're also focusing gaming and, and everything that gaming has to tech. do with you know technology in general. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date with news, tech, review, and everything that has to do, again, with tech. Don't forget to hit the bell button so that you know the moment we release a new video. That's been it. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.